Hi guys, it's Lisa Dawn from Because Philly is Love. And for today's spotlight, I'm here with Lil Filmmakers. I'm Janine, founder and executive director. Hi, I'm Anissa and I'm the managing director. Uh, so I'm so happy to interview them for Because Philly is Love. The first question I usually ask, if you guys have seen some of the spotlights, is <laughs> so share a little bit of your backstory and sure. history mm -hmm. and why you guys started Lil Filmmakers. Sure, I'll, I'll keep it brief, but um, in 1999, I was a senior at Temple University and I was really interested in teaching young people how to use film and media to tell their stories, especially black kids who mm -hmm. didn't have access to digital technology and things like that. So I just started going to different schools with my camera, an old camera back in the day, and then 20 years later, here we are. Excellent. Um, so in terms of the projects that, that you work on, you guys are a nonprofit. Yes. So share a little bit about your partnerships and the projects that you're working on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Little Filmmakers, we are a media arts nonprofit. So we work primarily with 11 to 24 year old storytellers. So we put on programs around like professional and creative development to help make them the best working, healthy, happy artists they could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Some of our wonderful partners include the Free Library of Philadelphia. We're also in um, these youth media collaboratives with You Set the Stage and PYMC. Mm -hmm. So we also work with other similar youth media organizations to reach our young people to help them build a creative community that can support them. Yeah. That's excellent. And in terms of the films that you guys have created, mm -hmm. are there any films that you want to talk about and share? There is actually. So the first film, the project that comes to mind is one we did over the summer. It was actually like an experimental narrative. It was called Our Environment and Us. So this video was funded by the Pennsylvania Humanities Council in partnership with the Free Library of Philadelphia. And what our young people did, we took them and we put them through a filmmaking boot camp for six weeks or so. Yeah. And they shot, wrote, directed, produced wow. a two minute short uh, film about environmental justice, uh, well injustice, mm -hmm. in terms of how certain areas receive uh, better funding or more money for infrastructure versus other areas and how these students are expected to perform the same in society and school but their neighborhoods look vastly, vastly different yeah. mainly because of gentrification not vastly different because they're pouring into those communities but yeah. vastly different because these communities are being torn apart yeah. so we just really wanted to it's a heavy topic we know but we really our young people really wanted to like speak to that mm -hmm. and speak truth to power and use that to express how it makes them feel so yeah. we're very proud of that yeah that's good work and that's such a topic an mm -hmm. important topic that's happening in philadelphia yeah, right now yeah. in terms of the shifting of the dynamics in certain um, areas and certain neighborhoods yeah. um so where can folks find your work <laughs> so littlefilmmakersinc.com and if they want and that is that where they can actually look at the films that you yes. just correct Yes, okay. all of our projects are on our website. Our social media handles are also at Little Filmmakers, Filmmakers yeah. Inc. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can click on our website. Our mm -hmm. handles as well. I have one other quick question. Mm -hmm. If someone, if if someone of that age range that you guys are focusing mm -hmm. on is interested in yes. being part of this program, join us. Yes. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. so they just come on the website. They, they fill out the right and they go to the website. Yes. Contact us. Yes. We love to make uh, young people feel proud of who they are and help mm -hmm. them tell a story through their own voice. So when you control your narrative, you are empowered yourself. Correct. Awesome. And I love that you guys made yourself available to me today. Oh, thank, thank, you. Thank, thank you so, you. Much, so much, Anissa. Thank, thank you. you.